Hello everyone, I'm Psychic Fedora, and welcome back to Undertale. And I believe we're just about near the end. Oh look, it's that elevator. That... The elevator is in use. Oh, is isn't working. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Man, this whole place is so gray and dull. It's weird. Huh. Man. Feels like I'm almost like in the past. It's weird. Like, you know, you see those movies where it's like everything's just like black and white. Except for you. Like, in like Harry Potter, for example. Like, they do that. Oh, there's music. Huh. It's one of my favorite songs in this whole game. You know that what statue plays it. Oh! This is Toriel's house. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a no attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. Flowdy? <laughs> if you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and... There's a heart-shaped blocker inside the box. Sure. Get a heart-shaped blocker. There's a worn dagger inside the box. I'll leave that. Armor defense 15. Wow, that's nice. Best friends forever. I think the armor is more. I'm this one. Oh, that's what I use it. Equip the locket. That's nice. Yeah, this one's a little bit more. Uh. Okay. He dawned down Timmy Armor. Wait, is there anything in these? There's a lot of striped shirts in here. Hey, all kids wear striped shirts. The twin size bed. It's a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not even get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. It's a flower. It's a drawing of a golden flower. Dusty toys. Rooms under renovation. Oh, Froggets! A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. You talk. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Huh. You took the key and put it on your keychain. Despite everything, it's still you. Huh. It's a golden flower. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says it is a nice day today. I think it's almost wet. This is the past, isn't it? <laughs> it's like some kind of memory thing. It's a trophy. Number one, nose nuzzling champ, 98. It's a king size bed. Fit for a king, maybe? Boy, this is Toriel's house, right? So why is it half as cool? Hmm. I don't know what... Ah. That's interesting. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, buttoned-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says, Mr. Dad Guy. Huh. It's a barrow. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. I don't want to start assuming things, but for what I'm getting from this is tutorial and Asgore were they together and have a kid? I don't know what Asgore looks like. Oh, they call him Fluffy Buns. 
So he has to be furry. Maybe he's a goat? Maybe both goats? I don't know, maybe monsters uh, love each other. Despite their species. <laughs> but he's fluffy, I know that, and they have a child. Apparently. Yeah. Whimsons. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay, so the son's name's Azriel. <laughs> Got pretty far there. <laughs> huh. Getting goosebumps, actually. This is really interesting. Seems like gardening tools. There's a photo album, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Huh. The coal... The coals are still warm. <laughs> it's a golden flower. There's a big theme of golden flowers here. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. So this is a different human than me. I'm guessing. Is that a key? You took the key and put in your phone's keychain. The stove top is very clean, so I must use fire magic instead. <laughs> There's some white fur stuck in the, in the drain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. <laughs> huh. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up receipts of butterscotch pie. Huh. Alright. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. A date is circled on it. Alright. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. I'm kind of wondering about these because I don't flower. He's one of these flowers, obviously. Huh. The next day, the next day, the human died. Oh. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul and transformed into a being with incredible power. Yeah, I remember there is that one sign that talks about, like, when a monster absorbs a human soul becomes, like, super-powered. Yeah. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Huh. <laughs> so interesting. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human body. They thought that he had killed the child. Huh. Found my Ashirans, by the way. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <clears throat> the humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away.
Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The human and once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgard will let us go. King Asgard will give us hope. King Asgard will save us all. Huh. <laughs> you should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I'll have to die. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying. Oh. You're going to be free. Huh. Where does this go? Oh, back here. Okay. <sighs> Last corridor. This looks like a church. <laughs> it's gonna be my funeral or something? Is that what they're doing? Is that sand? <laughs> uh... So you finally made it. The end of our journey, of your journey, is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now. You will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it is. To be, easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more you easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggle or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did with a smile. You never gained love. You never gained love, but you gained... <laughs> Sorry. You never gained love, but you gained love. Doesn't that make sense? Maybe not. No. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your reactions here will determine the fate of the entire world. No pressure or anything. <laughs> if you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped on the ground. What will you do? Oh. <laughs> well, if you, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. Yeah, I know. It's basically the theme of the game, isn't it? So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. 
We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> this game. Like, uh. Did he disappear? Man, that reminded me, like, of, like, you know, like, you go in heaven, like, you're being judged at the door. It's like heaven's gate kind of thing. That's interesting. Didn't expect the biblical aspect there, but, huh. Alright. <laughs> I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Psychic Fedora. See you guys next time. Bye!